Hey everybody, Stogie Farts here. This is going to be an aquaponics video. Uh, I mentioned it in my last video that I did, but I have a fish that is looking a little sick. And I'll put a video clip up here, but you'll be able to see uh, it's only one koi and he's got this fungal issue going on, which looks like white growth or white fungus growing on him. This happens to the same fish all the time. This is a fish that almost died a couple years ago. So ever since then is, I don't know, he just is always susceptible to fungus. So I'm going to treat it with a uh, thing called Proform. Proform C, it's a medication, uh, and it says it's okay for fish, but not for edible fish. Well, I don't plan on eating these fish, but I do eat the stuff that grows from the water. So I don't think I should be watering my plants with the same medication that says you're not supposed to eat the fish with. So that's kind of tough for my system because it's all one connected loop. Everything is the same so how can I medicate my fish and still have the plants not be affected so uh, I'm gonna show you what I think I'm gonna try and we'll go from there so I think what I'm gonna do is since this medication is for three days I think I'm going to let maybe about these each of these grow beds keep them full with about half water I don't want to do it all the way up to the top because I don't want to completely saturate the roots um, but maybe if I fill it up halfway on each grow bed and then shut it off shut it off so the water does not go to the grow beds they will just stay half full with stagnant water since it's only going to be for three days I'm hoping that's okay and then I'll just have the rest of the system just running from the uh, tank it'll just run up to this little mini filter basically and then just right back in so instead of it going up to the grow beds and back down we're going to shut off the grow bed so nothing will come in through this pipe here and it'll just go through here and i'm hoping medicating the water with that for three days just using that loop will be okay so what i'm going to do now is uh make sure i fill this water up here to at least a hundred gallons because that's what I'm basing the medication off of and then we'll go from there. All right, now when it comes to giving medications, it's very, very important you know how much water is in your system because medication depends on the, the body of water. So this is probably one of the best things I've ever done and I recommend you do the same. Back when I filled up my system for the first time, I actually measured how much water rose up on this piece of PVC pipe. So that's 10 gallons, 20 gallons, 30, 40, whatever. So I want to get to 100 gallons. So all I do is I stick this down into the center of my tank and this tells me how much water is in the tank. So as you can see, I'm not even at 70 gallons. I want to get up to 100 because that's what the medication calls for. So I'm going to fill this up with treated water. I'm doing it right there. I'm gonna fill this up until it gets to 100 gallons and then I will know that I'm not going to kill my fish by over medicating them. Okay, so you can see the water is now filled all the way up to 100 gallons. I used my little marker to, to gauge that and this is the stuff I put in there. Proform C. And so it's gonna be hard to tell in this video but the water actually has a little blue tinge to it. And hopefully, after a few days, we'll see some improvement in that koi because uh, he ain't looking so hot right now. There he is right there. So I'll give you an update in a few days and uh, we'll see how he looks. Okay, well it's been a few days of treatment and the fish is looking a little better, but he's still not there 100%. I don't know if you can see, much of glare but uh, he doesn't have as much white covering his skin but I did notice he has some on his uh, nose which you, uh, you might be able to see if you rewind this video this clip and look at it So I'm going to do another round of treatment, which is another three-day treatment, 
And then after that, I might even add some salt to the water, which should help him recuperate a little bit. So here we go, round two treatment. All right, here's the fish now, and you can see he looks a lot better. There's still maybe a couple little marks on him, but he doesn't have that really white, filmy goop that was on him before. And uh, way over there, it's going to be hard to see. Come on, you turkey. There he is. So he's not quite as vibrant in color as I would like, but he's definitely getting there. So I think the medication definitely helped out this time around. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be expanding this system so they'll have a lot more room to swim and I think that'll be a lot more beneficial for them. Alright, well that's it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, about medicating the fish, aquaponics, how I got started, how you can get started, any of that stuff, just leave me a comment below. Let me know. Like I said, a lot of the problems with this fish has to do with the system. Uh, they're just outgrowing it. It's really small. It's probably meant for goldfish and not koi. So uh, in some of my future videos, I'm going to be expanding this system. I already have things underway. Materials are already bought. I'm just kind of learning as I go and doing these little steps as I go. And hopefully very soon I will have a video for you showing an entirely new system that hopefully is working a lot better uh, and a lot more efficiently in filtering water uh, than this one behind me. So that's it. Talk to you later.